Hello YouTube. Um, don't know if you can see this tire very well, but this is a old HP Pivlon 82060. So, yeah. You can look up the specs. It has a Pentium 2 processor. Um, let's see if you can see. Um, okay, you can't see anything there. It has a 266 megahertz Intel Pentium 2 processor with MMX technology. 32 megabytes of SD RAM, 4 gigabyte hard drive, and that's pretty much it. Um, I have it hooked up to my projector. I haven't used this thing for at least five years. Just wanted to see what old Windows 95 looked like, so I'll turn on the projector. I'll come back okay. once the projector. Okay, YouTube. We now got the whole system started up. Um, I would put a boot up clip in here, but I didn't boot it up. I just had it in a hybrid rate. What's scary, amazing, is how quick this thing is. Open up control panel. Control panel's open. Want to close control panel? Just go right over there. Um, it handles some games. Um, it has the internet on it. It's not hooked up to the internet, though my computer. You can see how great the... Oh, I, well, I have to double click that. Okay. You can see how amazing the file explorer is on this. Let's see what's on drive C. Okay. I have literally nothing. I have logo. Album. Okay and it cannot find that file. <sighs> well, you can't really open anything. Um, I'm only using 220, uh, uh, 126 kilobytes of 4 gigabytes, so that's not bad, I guess. Uh, you have programs, accessories, you have, yeah, games, you have free cell heart, minesweeper, solitaire, internet tools, multimedia, calculator, you have paint, notepad, imaging, you have paint, it opens paint up a lot quicker than my e-machine or my gateway or my, well, or my Dell, and those are all about three times as powerful as this machine, it's just just because it has a lot less coding to uh, process and all that crap. Um, you have Microsoft Office on here, 95 suite. Um, let's see what old Microsoft Excel looks like. Really, Microsoft Excel doesn't look too much different back then from nowadays. Still, move over the. Huh, this is quite surprising. This one actually can be rendered useful. Save changes? No, I will not save changes to that shortcut to Word. Let's see what Windows Word looks like. Tip of the day, did you know? You can insert current date by pressing Alt-Shift-D. Okay, thank you for telling me this. Okay, I don't know what a bookshelf application is. Well, this is a really pretty crappy software. I mean, this is radio crappy software. I mean, you can type fine, but the thing is, is if you... Eh, it's not doing it. They used to uh, delete the words before the cursor, so you'd have to go through and manually expand the whole thing. It also has PowerPoint. which is right here. It's open in PowerPoint. Tip of the day, don't give a shit. Shut up. Okay, um... Old looking PowerPoint, but really it's not that bad. It's comparable to uh, what I'd say. I'd say it's comparable to uh, 
free office or openoffice.org. Good program. It's if you uh, can't afford the Microsoft Office suite, it's free. Just type in Google free office, um, open office, and it's called openoffice.org. It's has PowerPoint, it has Excel, and all that. It works on a Macintosh computers, even with the Intel processor. So I found that pretty, pretty nice. That way, I can actually use my uh, Apple for, say, schoolwork or something. Because before, it was completely useless. Um, and now I, it, it does shit, you know. Um, but uh. I now have, this is a really quite amazing how quick it is compared to my old computer. Um, trying to find something that would be very large to open. Um, here. Acrobat Reader 3.1, let's see what that is. Yeah, looks like it's relatively large to open. And it's open. No PDF file to open it up. But I'm assuming Acrobat handles PDF files. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't really mingle around with any of that stuff. Um, you have uh, games on here, such as Jump Jet. It's a DOS-based game. Um, okay, I'll play a game. Press enter to fly. See, now you have to realize I'm trying to control this with one hand. And then I died. Hit escape. I'm going to go to exit because I don't want to play this. Exit. Um, yes. Goodbye. Okay, thank you for telling me goodbye. That is so kind of you. Stooping and Peter's telling me goodbye. Um, is there Tetris on there? I know there's Tetris. That's relatively large to open. If I can find Tetris, I'll open that for you. Here, PDR Electronic Library. It has a little bit of a problem there. This is a relatively new software. This one was from 2003. And then it wants you in a security error. So you can't open that. Um, Microsoft. There's Tetris. Would you like to run this game now? Yes, I will. It's opened up. It's okay. New game. See. If Tetris is a strangely torturous game, you get really into this and really pissed off while playing. My aunt put on probably 500 pounds playing this game. I'm joking. Anyways, that's enough of this game. Like, yeah. Okay, back to reality. Yes, I want to go back to reality. Well, if anyone wanted to see what uh, old Windows 95 was, couldn't remember it or doesn't re wasn't alive back then. That's what it was. Here, shut down, shut down the computer. Here, restart the computer. I'll let you watch it boot itself back up. Okay, I'll cut out the part wherever it's shutting down. Okay, it's working on booting up right now. My projector is not enjoying this. Starting Windows 95, thank you for telling me this.
She's almost complete, and once the hourglass disappears, she is complete. Okay, I am going to show you one thing real quick. Old um, screensaver. I just found it kind of interesting whenever I seen it. I haven't seen it for such a long time. 3D maze. You can tell how proper graphics were back then. It looks better on this camera, but on this computer, it absolutely sucks. I remember when I was younger, I used to think this was a video game that you could play. So I just, I get really pissed off because I can't control the little guy moving through here, but no, uh, it's not a maze. It's not a real game. It's just a screensaver. Well, thank you for watching. Um, in a little bit, I'll probably do a review on this machine right over there. It's a Tandy T1000. Uh, I haven't ever used it because uh, I don't have a startup disk for it. Well, anyways, thank you for watching my channel. Um, there's more tech reviews. I might do one on the BenQ projector up there. I don't know. I'll just have to see how my life's treating me. Um, rate, comment, like, and subscribe. I really like it when you do all three of those, four of those, three of those things. I suck at math. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching.